to INEC requesting that their seats have been vacated and INEC should conduct by elections in the 25 constituency seats that we have in the River State House of Assembly. We stipulate that when any lawmaker abandons his job and takes up another job, that lawmaker automatically loses his seat. And the speaker needs to invoke that section to declare his seat vacant. Again, the Honorable Timothy Urubimiha, Adolphus, who represents Opobo constituency, the Honorable Sokare, good boy Sokare, who represents Avoda West constituency, and Honorable Victor Okojumbo, who represents Bonne constituency. All three of them have abandoned their jobs of representing their various constituencies here in the River State House of Assembly. For 152 consecutive legislative days, they have remained absent from legislative business from our sittings or meetings. I would like to draw the attention of INEC to that vacancies also exists in Ahoda East Constituency 2 and Kana Constituency 2. These vacancies have arisen as a result of the resolution, the resignation of Right Honorable Barrister Ehie Ogrenye Edison, who represented Ahuda East Constituency 2. And the, His Excellency has continued to remain focused. His Excellency has given River States a breath of fresh air by way of his simple style of governance. Mr. Speaker, in this case, it is obvious that for 152 sitting days, these persons have not come for sitting for whatever reason. Best known to them. Mr. Speaker, if any of them happen to be my elder brother, sir, the Constitution must take his course. Mr. Speaker, I want to, I wouldn't want to pour this ass with what my uh, brothers, my colleagues have said. Mr. Speaker, I want to totally align myself with uh, prayer three. I want to totally align myself with prayer three. That says, call that will call on Mr. Speaker to write to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and inform the commission after declaring this seat vacant so that election can be conducted to elect new representatives in this in this uh, constituency. Mr. Speaker, in, yes, in different in this uh, constituency. Mr. Speaker, we believe that when we come to the assembly, we are wrong. Mr. Speaker, we believe that we cannot be seated here seen for 152 days. Nobody is representing body constituency in these chambers. For more than, one, for more than 150 days, nobody is representing where the governor comes from. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the people are crying in silence. The 10th Assembly, we have come. We have heard their cry. Because we are wasting here. And for the fact that the Constitution has said, this way should be for those that we consecutively miss or miss it. Mr. Speaker, they say, a stage in time says nine. I want to say that every other member should support this motion and let us immediately do the needful. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and may God bless the tenth. Any title to do so commits an offence and is liable of conviction to such punishment as shall be prescribed by a law of the River State House of Assembly, Mr. Speaker.
It has come to the attention of this honorable house that 25 House of Assembly members, 25 former members of the Rivers House of Assembly haven't defected to another political party other than the political party under which they were elected have lost their seats in accordance with the provisions of section 1091G of the 1999 constitution. Despite this, these individuals have unlawfully continued to sit and purportedly conduct legislative business in direct violation of section 99 of the constitution, which prohibits any individual without legal entitlement from sitting or voting in the legislative chamber. Mr. Speaker, my concern these actions not only undermine the authority, integrity, and sanctity of this honorable house, but constitute a serious and blatant violation of the constitution. The continued participation of these former members threatens the rule of law and erodes public trust in the legislative business. Mr. Speaker, we know the effort you are putting in in trying to honor the image which the batters before the ISC from participating in their legal duties. Mr. Speaker, this is their action. It's one of putting all your efforts into questioning. Mr. Speaker, going for I wish to bring in my prayers. In light of the foregoing, I move that this house, this honorable house, firmly resolve to invoke the provision of the Constitution, Section 99 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria against the 25 former members who, despite losing their seats, have unlawfully continued to sit. That's my second prayer. Direct and all necessary actions be taken without further delay in accordance with the aforementioned constitutional provisions. It is clear, the draft constitution, that section is clear. And as of today, Mr. Speaker, it has never been amended. And that section stands, Mr. Speaker. And we are not in a banana republic where people will just be conducting themselves unlawfully. Mr. Speaker, I wish that for that delay that we invoke that section of the Constitution. To hold this individual accountable and ensure that they face the full consequences of their breach of the law. Mr. Speaker, the thought which is a practice is to say... Uh, hello, Chamber. We sat and agreed that we were going to hit to that peace party. And we called on our brothers, our colleagues, to be coming for sittings, to resume sittings, because they, had, they were not coming because of the issues at the time. But they failed to seize that opportunity. Now, rather than heed to the peace party, to everything that we signed for the peaceful development of this state. What did they do? They've been running from one court to the other, seeking to take us out of office. As we speak, honorable members, even tomorrow a matter is coming up in court. That matter was fired by Oko Jumbo and these members. All they are doing is to remove us from office, rather than come so that we can meet and build this state together. They decided not to follow what we agreed to and have refused to attend sittings rather than come for sittings. They are meeting in secret places, concocting approvals, doing all kinds of illegal actions, bringing the 10th Assembly of River State to disrepute. As we speak, these individuals have made the Assembly a laughing stock in the Committee of State House of Assembly by their actions. 
if not for our interventions. But the crucial thing here, honorable members, is that the Constitution frowns at abandonment of duty. We have kept quiet for so long, hoping that they will turn a new leaf and come to work. State government still pays them their salaries. They've been receiving salaries. These individuals have been receiving their salaries from the information we gathered. But they don't come to work. They have remained absent from legislative meetings. What should the Assembly do in this circumstance when these constituencies do not have a voice here in this House? What are we supposed to do? Are we expected to fold our arms and keep quiet till the end of the tenor? And these constituents of theirs will remain helpless? Certainly not. That is why I commend members for rising up to the occasion by coming up with this motion. So, honorable members, I thank you. And all you have said is that section 109, subsection 1F of the 1999 Constitution has altered, stipulates that when a member is absent from legislative meetings or sittings for up to one third of the number of days that the House sits in a year, that that person is no longer fit to be a member of the House. We have checked the records, the facts brought to this House by the sponsors of this motion are indeed satisfactory. The section says if the facts are satisfactory, we can take action. And the facts are satisfactory. The evidence before us is clear that for 152 legislative sittings in a row consecutively, these individuals have refused to represent their people. They have refused to participate in our meetings, in our sittings, and are no longer fit to be part of this 10th assembly. So that more serious-minded persons who have their people at heart can be given the opportunity to vie for these seats and fill the vacancies that we see here every day when we are sitting as a result of their absence. Honorable members, rising from your debates, rising from your contributions on the floor of the House this morning, going by the satisfactory evidence that is before us that these members have been absent for 152 days in a row, which is far more than the requirement. Even if we decide to take it section by section, the House sat in the first section of the 10th Assembly for 177 days, out of which they were absent for 96 days. Then in this section, the House has sat for 50. This sitting today is the 56th legislative sitting and they have been absent for all 56 legislative sittings, bringing... Kwa, Igbema, Ndone, State Constituency 2. Honorable David Arnold, Ogubolo, State Constituency. Honorable Wankwa Silvanos, Eina, Omuma, State Constituency. Honorable Ofoji, Gerald Oyibo, State Constituency. Honorable Wami Solomon, Portacot State Constituency 1. Honorable Opara Azeru, Portacot State Constituency 3. Honorable Umba Bernard, Thai State Constituency. Attached are copies of audios, visual, and print evidence of their defection. Please accept my warm regards. Yours sincerely, Right Honorable Barrister Edison Ogerenye Ehie, DSSROS Speaker, River State House of Assembly, and copy to the Resident Electoral Commissioner, Independent National Electoral Commission, Abarud, Port Harcourt. Distinguished Honorable Members, this letter was 
this notice of uh, vacancies was sent to INEC on the 14th day of December 2023. Distinguished members, recall that on the 8th day of May 2024, the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, the Right the Honorable Victor Oko Jumbo, also sent a notification for the vacancies in the 25 constituencies we have in River State. And I wrote this letter to INEC requesting that their seats have been vacated and INEC should conduct by elections in the 25 constituency seats that we have in the River State House of Assembly. And I will read the National Chairman, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Plot 436, Zambezi Crescent, Maitama Crescent, Abuja. Notice of vacancies in the River State House of Assembly, pursuant to Section 1091G and 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended and request for conduct of fresh elections in the 25 state constituencies in the River State House of Assembly. And I read, I refer you to the letter dated the 14th of December, 2023, with the reference ROVHA slash 10A slash volume one slash zero sixteen, in which the former speaker of the Tenth River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Barrister Ehie Ogane Edison, distinguished service star of River State, notified you of the existing vacancies in the seats of twenty-five members of the River State House of Assembly, who defected from the People's Democratic Party (PDP) to the All Progressive Congress, APC, kindly find attached a copy of the letter for your ease of reference. I also refer you to the resolutions passed by the River State House of Assembly at its 90th legislative sitting on 13th December 2023, dated the 14th of December, 2023, signed by the former Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Barrister Ehie Ogareye Edison, Distinguished Service Star of River State, with the reference ROVHA slash 10A slash volume one slash 016. On the same subject matter, a copy of the resolution is attached herewith for your ease of reference. I wish to remind the Independent National Electoral Commission that the by-elections in those constituencies which the 25 lawmakers represent is yet to be conducted. Consequently, I call on the INEC to conduct a by-election to fill those vacant seats following the defections of the 25 lawmakers from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress. I would like to draw the attention of INEC to that vacancies also exists in Ahoda East Constituency 2 and Kana Constituency 2. These vacancies have arisen as a result of the, the resignation of Right Honorable Barrister Ehie Ogren Edison, who represented Ahuda East Constituency 2 
and the, His Excellency has continued to remain focused. His Excellency has given River States a breath of fresh air by way of his simple style of governance. He has demystified governance and he has ensured that he had connected to even the smallest person in River State, which is what we have all been yearning for. It is on this note, having satisfied the conscience of River 